everybody this is your weakened energy what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tarot card for Saturday that's the Queen of Wands and Sunday is the King of Pentacles now I'm, I'm going a little bit deeper into this card and we all know what the Queen of Wands stand for she is the Queen of Fire and the Queen of Wands does radiate warmth wherever she goes. Her size and the way she looks also um, shows that she's full of energy and she is self-conscious about her power because she goes for what she wants and she goes with logically and creatively about her way she's very cat like because a cat s sneaks up as well and he sh they can wait until they know what they want and they jump on it she's also very independent also very direct and she's also full of wisdom she's also balanced that is what the staff would mean to me and the key words for her would be um, independent symbolic she would stand symboli some symbolically for action, passion power um, warmth athletic and self-confident sometimes overconfident and she has knowledge that's why she's reached the stage of the Queen. Now the other side of the Queen of Wands is self-conscious, shy, timid, frivolous, ill-tempered, lethargic, that could be lazy or let it go, slow and frail but usually you don't think of the Queen of Wands like that because she's so dynamic and she shines out the warmth like fire her independency um, and she does go into action for whatever she wants she's also creative to find a way on to how to get what she wants Definitely. Like I say when I do a reading, the Queen of Wands is Leo. But she could also represent Aries or Sagittarius. Um, she's also an excellent businesswoman uh, because she uses her brain and she's learned for it. She's no, The fire signs are a lot like the air signs they can learn very very well more so than I think uh, than the air signs because the air signs uh, are easily distracted and the fire signs boom put their head down and they go for what they want and that is what keeps their concentration focused on their goal so that is the message okay now let's have a look I'm doing two things at the same time here um, because I'm going to introduce this book and it is the book the tarot and the chakras so I'm going to look up there's a lot of uh, of energy in uh, uh, information in this book and I do have to read from the book because like I said it's got so many um, so much information, signs it's got also um, pagan signs in it, astrological signs in it, reiki signs in it because we are working with the tarot and the chakras and uh, learning about chakras is a life lesson on its own you do get some of it when you uh, learn reiki but I'm just going to skim across the surfaces of um, of this um, with, with the cards. 
Okay, so it's only working with the chakras and the tarot cards. Right, well, this is really interesting because um, as a Reiki master, I do not agree with what is being said in in the book, but uh, it is new for me, so it's an I have to accept it as a vision on um, how other people experience chakras and their teachings or what they've learned from other teachings. Okay, now we have symbols, and I'll show you the book. We have symbols, it's like a lotus, this is the lotus symbol that they will be going on about, and that is, in this book, the sign for the solar plex. Now the solar plex in the angelic um, chakras is also the uh, archangel jovial. Okay, so I have to try to put these two separate, and also my uh, Reiki uh, knowledge that I what I have learned and in Reiki it is called the solar plex and it is the um, chakra for joy and happiness but this book will also intertwines diets and uh, the biology side of the chakra so in this book the fire chakra suit um, is chapter 8 and it says fire cards fire chakra means I do is to do to be active the fire chakra reflects the strength of self-esteem power and enthusiasm and governs governs the metabolic functions that supply physical energy in the form of heat in other words the digestive system that is the food for your body to keep you alive and to get you going in action the fire chakra is located in our mid torso, right at the base of our and at the base at the base of our sternum, and above our navel. This chakra, commonly known as the solar plex, so it is about there. I know she's got her hair, um, but she, this is her chest line, and just under her chest, you've got the V just in your midriff so just feel that V upside V upside down V in your rib mid midriff and you will find the uh, solar plex the fire chakra's color is yellow this chakra is symbolically expressed as an inverted triangle with ten lotus petals in Sanskrit it is called Manipura meaning the city of gems it functions are um, associated with heat and light, fueling organs of the digestive system, assimilating and energy energy conversion in our body. Physiologically and spiritually, this is the center that governs about um, um, the amount of passion. Will in will, intent, integrity, right action and courage available in the energy body. The traditional sound foca focalization is the ram, that is Aries. Right, the fire chakra is powerful and can be expressed into two e extreme directions as mass, ruled, drive or as anger and resentment it influences your self esteem the fire element that governs this chakra is the warmth and radiating energy from the sun no wonder it is known as the solar plex which is the name given to the galleon of nerves below the chest and above the stomach the planetary influences of Mars give strife and courage. The gland associated with the solar plex is the pancreas. This gland aids in digestion and secretes enzymes that lower and regulate sugar levels in the body. Fire chakra suit, self-soother, that is what you can do 
for if you would like to is that is like a form of healing you put your hands like that over your stomach and your thumbs together and you can do it you can do it like this or you can do it like this I suggest like a triangle like this or like this but if you do it like that that is a triangle it's not very relaxing though place both hands over the abdom, adam, abdomen palms facing inward your thumbs and index fingers are touching the touch is light imagine a mirror around your solar plex imagine sending spontaneity and passion throughout your body so I would this is my stomach then I would just sit there like that and just imagine a mirror around your solar plex it's like the triangle okay now we're going to <coughs> that's the explanation then we have the solar plex and the solar plex this is what you see chakra solar plex anatomy forehead solar plex thighs senses of sigurd sight sorry sight i'm reading upside down senses of sight body response shaking sense sight emotions enthusiasm and anger color yellow keywords spiritual create insight passion and brightness action focus vitality the wands fire cards are creative and intuitive they are absolute and they're about spontaneity insight <coughs> insight fire suit is also called the suit of rods staff buttons or clubs fire can be associated with focusing energy and is the active drive force behind anything we do the creative force of fire mirrors the creative force deep within us when we need it fire quality gives us confidence it gives us fire to burn it is our passion and our action ones may also characterize egotistic identification and anger generally fire cards indicate outgoing charismatic energy fire influences is closely related to the spiritual life many of us who want meaning in our lives seek the spiritual path that is what the fire cards d mean and that is the chakra now we're going to the queen of fire so we've heard the upside and the downside it is to it the fire means giving energy um, insights spiritual insight as well enthusiasm and the downside is anger okay also bringing brightness into life being happy active spontaneity spontaneity and they focus focus on what they want like I said in the beginning now the Queen the Queen of fire the Queen of fire stands uh, her uh, stands for um, ma mature ladies and nurturers and the quality is transformative okay attributes the queen of fire knows what she wants and knows how to get it you cannot deter her she tends to be very creative and passionate about whatever she is doing she's a sexy mama queen of fire can get along with everybody she's also dedicated to her job on the downside she can be single-minded and pushy advice allow the queen of fire to stir up your passion or 
passions and inspire whatever it is you are doing. Make sure that she doesn't bowl you over. Let her help you transform. I'm not going into the story because you also get a story at the bottom of the book for an example that somebody's really busy and somebody comes in and helps her and then she gets it done. Okay, so now we're going on to the second card. Let's see what we have. The King of Pentacles, as we knew. <laughs> and we have the Earth suit here. So we're going. I'm going to read again from the Earth. Um, so I'm just going to capture the fire signs again. So on Saturday, um, let your intuition uh, fire happiness. Um, get things done. Um, um, uh, be dedicated to what you're doing. Let your body drive. Eat healthily, uh, because it, obviously something with the digestive system. Some of you might have a, a stomach cramp, and it could be something that you've eaten, or it could be stress. So mm, do the exercise that I've just shown, that triangle period with the hands, and then just imagine you have a mirror over your solar plex. So it reflect and think love, think passion, think uh, passionate, and think um, sweet things, positive things, and bring it back. So let them ima imagine that the mirror is um, focusing it back to your solar plex. Okay. Now in this book, the Earth uh, um, is the red chakra, and that's the root chakra. So. Usually Earth is green, but it's depicted in uh, red because I reckon that is the root chakra. And the King of Pentacles um, is an earthy man, and he's with two feet on the ground. So, um, and he stands for investing. He's gentle. Um, he likes routine. Um, he's solid. Um, he's also um, nurturing. Okay, um, he's also very positive. He's also very businesslike. Okay, here we go. The Earth um, chakras are known as I am, and this is a different sign. So once you get to learn the signs of the chakra, then you see them at the top of the pages, or kings, or queens, or the swords um, page so you can relate these signs to that typical typical card okay earth chakra I am known as the root or the earth chakra this chakra is located at the base of the spine and relates to the perineum and like I said um, red is the earth chakra so now I understand so that's correct the space below the pelvic floor and in front of the anus. The name in Sanskrit is Mulahara, meaning root support. The earth chakra supplies our physical, ener energetic and spiritual support and grounding. So it grounds us. Okay. It influences um, the issue of money and career. Like I said, businessman. The earth chakra helps us to focus and feel like we belong. The color is red and the Sanskrit symbol is a square with four crimson petals for grounding and root support. Support from proper flow and functioning of the earth chakra is vital to all functions of the body emotions, mind and spirit. It is from the earth root chakra that we coil serpent of kundalini energy rises to visualize and il illuminate the entire orgas organism of self. And kundalini is another way 
and other belief and other system of meditating. The divine consciousness of Deva, the creator, is associated with this center. Earth is practical and substantial and the planetary influence of Saturn supplies order, form and transcendence I will say transcendental right transistence right the adrenal gland are asso glands are associated with the earth chakra surrounding and regulating blood pressure heart rate and energy levels in the body the sound vocalization is lam and the symbols that correspond to the earth chakra are the square or cube. It's like a whole study, so if you really want to get into this, then I suggest you order the book. I'll leave the uh, IBSN number uh, underneath the video. Keep your hands soft yet solid. Place one hand on the back of the neck, holding gently, and one on the base of your spine. Feel your feet solidly on the ground. Project a feeling of earthy security and safety. That is a healing that you can do. It is also something that I do when people have backache. You take, I take the bottom of the skull and partly the skull and partly uh, the neck and the bottom of the spine. Okay, and just sit there because you will radiate a warmth from one hand to the other and that you that is what are, is called or we used to call it the opposite pole so within that you are forming an energy field I think if I'm going to do this I'll have to show it on video so it's more understandable okay now the root chakra, we know where it is, it's at the bottom of the pelvic, okay, by the colon and the, at the top of the neck. Knees are also included. Sense is smell. So you might be smelling beautiful air or go outside and smell the air. Open your lungs and your nose. Body response contraction, emotions, courage, fear, color, deep red, keywords, physical, sense, work, money, structure, methodical, organized and grounded. Well that is what the king is. And the um, earth is also known as pan pentacles are everything physical or literal. They are about work, money, issues and structure, like uh, durability and long term. They put everything into practical perspective. Earth or pentacle cards point out our physical needs. The suit of pentacles is also known equally as discs or coins. A five star pattern often appears on these cards symbolizing the human body and now we're going to the king of earth and he likes to sculpture things yes and you can use sculpture as a way of creativeness and this is really great because she's also very creative and uh, use a th aromatherapy um, and the king of earth is a mature male who leads quality prosperous attributes the king of earth is practical and confident he is someone who will assess the situation and takes control calmly he is very reliable and is good in business and financial leader he is authoritative and stable 
explicit. On the downside, he can be arrogant and a misery. <laughs> I love it. Advice. Trust the leadership cap uh, capabilities that are at hand. They are strong and solid. If it is a money issue you will see asking about, follow it through. And I will not go into the story because that is how Charles Dickens' story at Christmas Carol tells you the ta tale of Ebenezer, the Scrooge, and what he learned spiritually, and how he and how. So I won't go into the story, but that is what um, the downside is of the king, Ebony, that is Eben Ebenezer Scrooge. That was a wealthy but a stingy and a nasty man. So there you can see all the traits on the positive side and the downside of the King of Pentacles. Okay. And I think that is quite nice. So you might be meeting a man or you might be going to a man that is the King of Pentacles. It could also be a lady, like a bookkeeper. And they might have earth be earth okay and if they give you their advice then follow it through um, but be creative that is what is also being said be determined but take it s one step at a time that is the message and you can do the healings if you have backache and the back does stand also for finances because I'm also a reflexologist or have been a reflexologist and the back was the money part of um, doing reflex on. Okay, so you see how many different ways of life or cultures or therapies come together in like this in, in a book. I'm seeing things working again. I had stopped thinking about reflexology, but it's definitely coming in as well. So open up your solar plex and be grounded. That's another message. So I hope you've enjoyed this new way of working with the tarot. And that is your weekend cards for this weekend. Enjoy your weekend and do the relaxation exercises. Take care and be blessed. Please like and share. Ciao, ciao.